Hello guys and welcome back to episode number 62 of WWE Supercard Season 2. Now, um, I am excited for one reason, uh, but I'm also annoyed for a couple of other reasons. Now as you can, um, Road to Glory finished Sunday night, as you guys are well aware of. Now, um... The big question is, did I get Randy Orton? And that, and the answer to that question is no. I was 35 points away. Um, after the 100 points mark, uh, I was at the plus three wall, so I can only do plus one games. Now I did lose. Now I did go for plus threes and then plus fives, and I did lose pretty much all all of those matches. Now. If I would have, you know, done plus ones the whole way, maybe I'd have got him. I don't know. Maybe I would have got him. But, guys, anyway, that is the past. And this is now. We are on Game 7 in King of the Ring. That means a King of the Ring has came and gone. I got into the semi-finals. I lost to the guy who, who was in first place. He had a really awesome deck. And the thing is, I've got a random legendary. Now I bet you guys are thinking, who was that legendary? And the reason why I didn't do it live on camera was because I, when the King of the Ring finished, it was about 12 o'clock and I was at college and my mate Sam, he, um, I says to him, look dude, do you want to claim my re rewards? And he goes, yeah, yeah, sure, man, of course, of course I will. And he claimed them. Now, he doesn't play Supercard. He doesn't know what this means, really. Um, I went ape crap when I saw who I got. Let me just show you. If we go to Combinable... It says it all. It says it all. I got a book of tea. I got a book of tea. I got a book of tea. Which makes my first legendary pro. Which is absolutely awesome. But. I've done something kind of stupid. But I suppose it's kind of at the same time. Basically. Uh, with this book of tea right. With the first one. I went to Charisma to Toughness. Now, that's fine by me. Um, so then, obviously, his power and speed does lack a bit, although his speed is fine. He, he is, you know, he is a speed card, so. On the second card, because his power was so low, I, I went all out power, and I only did one speed because, you know, his speed's good, like I said. So yeah, that is looking good. The charisma games are OP, but yeah, um I'm gonna go back to his uh, legendary card. Just so the confusion's not there. But yeah. He should be done by after the next King of the Ring. Guys, I was so happy. Like I, Sam do, doesn't know what it meant, but it was so it means so much, it's so amazing. Anyway. And the reason why I have to wait a couple of days is because I put Booker T in a legendary King of the Ring. And he's there. So he needs games games played. So that should be cool. He should be done very soon. Um so yeah. We have to wait a couple of days for that one. Ooh! Did he put it back to 2 all? Could I get my first loss in this King of the Ring? We'll find out. But, what is this? A Team PCC has, quit, uh, has came upon us again in the matter of a week. Now, in the first Team PCC... For the second one, it took two weeks, so I was thinking that they, they would do this every two weeks, but they've just 
snapped one up for us now, which I won't complain about at all, but I will complain about a couple of things. Um, the first thing, if people don't have Twitter, then they do not have a clue what is going on in the world of WWE Supercard. May I just say that first? Um, basically, at half past ten on Monday night, Supercard thought, at Cat Daddy Dev, they thought, you know what, let's just bring a Team PCC out with Kevin Owens versus Dean Ambrose. Now... We're going to go right into it now. And literally, right, literally within half an hour, it had started. Usually, it is 10 or even 8 hours before Team PCC actually starts. You know, usually they have the whole event starts in blah, blah. But it started in half an hour and it ends in hours and a half, which is ridiculous. So, it's literally a... What a Whole day PCC. This is a whole day PCC. It will end at. Let me just think. Yeah, it will end at 11 o'clock p.m. for me tonight. Um, I am going to grind the whole way because I do not have college tomorrow morning. So I will be grinding until this event ends. I will be grinding my ass off. Uh, also, some bad news before we get onto the. Good news, we will do the bad news, and the bad news isn't that bad, to be fair. But somebody left uh, by the name of Nathan Collins. Um, am I annoyed about it? Hell no. The only reason why I am not annoyed is he didn't try in the first team PCC. Granted, he didn't have his phone. But he did do okay in this team PCC. I think he came like fifth or sixth. Which is kind of bad to be fair. And yeah, he did leave. Now, the reason why I'm kind of annoyed is because he left. Now, he said, oh, I would rather not drag down the team. And I would rather not be undeserving of an, e of an uh, epic card. Let me just crack the TV on. But, the thing is, um, he said... So, I'm thinking now, okay, he just won't play, and he will obviously join back when the event has ended. No. Um, I think it was... I think it was... Hamada? It was either Hamada or somebody else. Um, Solo War, I'm not pointing anything at you, bro. You are an awesome YouTuber. I wish you all the best. You are an awesome dude. Right? You are a very awesome guy. But he straight up joined Solar Wars team. Now I'm like, wow, this guy is literally like Seth Rollins. Even though I love Seth Rollins, he's like Seth Rollins. He sold out to our team and he joined a different team. When, to be honest, we're probably going to do better than them. Uh, it's going to be kind of bad now if they do better than us. But yeah, moving on. Um... Yeah, he just joined them. Now, that is obviously really bad. And, yeah, you are not welcome back at all. At all. You know, this is about team spirit. This is about loyalty. Right, oh, let me turn the telly down. This is about loyalty, right? If you join, you must stay, right? If I kick you, in the future, you, you are welcome to join back because... Obviously, your deck has got better. I know Shockknife will be joining back into the crew soon. And you know what? There's only... So, by the way, Nathan Collins, you can join them. You can do whatever you want. But, yeah, you're not welcome back here, bro. Anyway, moving on. Um, Shockknife will be joining back soon. I'm kind of disappointed that he didn't... Obviously, this hit me. This TPCC hit me like a ton of bricks, guys. I didn't even know that it was going on. And within half an hour, I don't think I could I could have told Shockknife to even join the team. Because the only way that we communicate is on Xbox. Now, he wasn't on Xbox. So, obviously, that sucks. And, yeah, you will join you straight after this team event is over. Um, I know you do grind a lot, so that is fine by us. Um, you know, it's more of, 
it's not more of the cards you've got, although I suppose it is. It's if you grind or not. You can have the best deck in the world, but if you don't contribute to the Team PCC, to the Team Points Breakdown, which I will show you in a sec, then you are not welcome in the team because you are an undeserving card, you know. You're undeserving of a card in mine and probably everybody bosses in any team's opinion. So, moving on to the team breakdown. These notes bossing the show as always. My God, this guy! I'm so happy I recruited this guy. I said it in the last episode. Um, this team PCC is for these notes, and I will tell you why in a second. But then we have Hamader. <laughs> Hamader has made his return to the team PCC. I know last team PCC he had tests and stuff, and I think he knows also. Wait a minute. I just thought I saw Hamada's Stone Cold there moving. Um, you know, I did. I Hamada even knows this. I was so close until kicking him because he was undeserving of the epic Sean Michaels card. But he is deserving now. You know, you know what, Hamada? This is the best you've done in every TPCC combined. So you're deserving of every single card you have got made up for everything in this team PCC then we have who is, who is doing awesome um, obviously he does not have work or college so he has been grinding which is awesome then we have me one point behind Tom damn you Tom one point behind is me and I will be this episode is basically a full Team PCC grind episode. I will be grinding like crazy. The time is currently half past eight. Um, sorry about that. If my battery does go low, I will segue and I will plug the charge in. Oh, I've got hiccups, but then we have Jamie, who is not doing too shabby at all. 166 points. Then we have Matt, who's doing kind of bad. He, you know, last in PCC, he did awesome. He, I think he was in the top four or five, which, which is cool. I think he was third or fourth. Then we have Lunatic Fringe, who is just behind him. And then we have It's Josh. Oh, yeah, and then Joshua. We have two Joshes. It's kind of confusing. But, yeah, It's Josh and, jo and Joshua are 10th and 9th. Uh, they do need to grind a bit more, sir. So, it is looking good. Let's go to the team chat. Um, Hamada has basically got it spot on. Um, we are doing this team PCC for D's nuts because it is an epic pro for him. If we get Dolph, then it is an epic pro for D's nuts. Uh, Tom was getting kind of annoyed at Hamada. This is when it all kicked off. Um, Tom said, do not say everything as you are not, not the boss. It is up to me to say that. Hamada said, I did not pretend that I'm the boss. I just said that we need to grind. Well, stop telling people what to do. That is not up to you. Yes, I know, but we are in a bad rank and we should grind. Well, at the end of the day, you should keep it to yourself, because, because what? Because you and some other people think that it is, I think you're trying to say it is not up to you to say something. I'm the boss. Then then I said, I'm the boss. <laughs> and yeah, um, I can see the controversy. I mean, Hamada, I get where you're coming from, bro. I mean, and he is saying right, to be fair. You're both in the wrong. Uh, Hamada's in the wrong because he's, you know... I suppose he's not in the wrong because he's like egging the team on, you know, to grind a lot more. But Tom's obviously taking it uh, to heart as he does. He's a poor, poor little soul. Um, so he does take things to heart. Uh, I suppose he don't like being told what to do. If you've seen Tom, also known as Two Box Game, give him a sub. If you've seen his videos, I mean, he is like, he goes crazy. But yeah, um... 
time to grind, guys. It's time to grind. Um, if we go to teams a sec, I, you guys are probably thinking, what the hell, Austin? But, I put my Booker T in. Now, obviously, I'm keeping Stone Cold in because he's such a beast. But Booker T has been kept in there mainly to get a few more games played. Um, after this grinding, you know, you know what? No, no, I'm, I'm gonna take him out now because he's kind of dragging the team down a bit, I, I guess. So we're gonna go to Epic. Oh, uh, I don't want him. Thank you very much. Epic Edge. That is a lot better. So, um, yeah, time to grind, guys. Time to grind. Uh, after the King of the Ring, if um, if Booker T is not done, I will play a couple of exhibition games. So that should be fine. Um, it is Tuesday, which means my laptop was supposed to go into repairs today. But... Obviously, due to timing issues, it couldn't be done. So, it will be in repairs on Friday when when we break up for Christmas holidays. Get in! I'm so happy about that. So happy. Um, but yeah, uh, it should be awesome. It should be freaking awesome. To be fair. Um, and yeah, Team P the. The PCC Grind Episode 2, although there will be no thumbnail, which will suck so bad. Uh, yeah, the, the PCC Grind started last month and you guys went ham, you loved it. So yeah, the PCC Grind Episode 2 is coming this weekend, I cannot wait. So that should be brilliant. Diva Speed, my... Brie Bella there. She's so good. Then Charisma. Uh, that's a win. Let's see what's checking on the telly. Paul be sitting. Oh, thank you. I've got for two. I have to go at 9 o'clock, guys. So, we've got half an hour. We've got a good half an hour left, guys, to grind. Oh! Oh, my God. That is so cute. On the Channel 5 News, there's a picture of... Oh, my God. That is sick. I hate... Guys, I hate seeing stuff like this. Ah! Basically, on the, on the Channel 5 News right now... Basically, someone has beaten up a dog, a helpless little cute dog. Oh, and there's a potty on its arm. Oh, my God. I hate seeing stuff like that. Dog beaters, I, I don't care, man. They should die. They should not live on this earth. Because the way I see it, any animal is a human being. They have... It's, a, it's almost like they have human rights, you, you know? Animals. Obviously, there's animal rights, but yeah, it's kind of the same thing. Also, guys, with with Team PCC, we beat some legendary teams, which we are hopefully about to see now. Also, guys, ten days till Christmas. Whoop whoop. Uh, I know Tommy's doing this, and so am I. There will be a Christmas special episode. Where I will probably be opening some supercar packs, which will be awesome. Hopefully there'll be a Christmas update like there was last year, with all the you know, with all the um, snow coming off the cards. That actually looks really cool. That looks awesome. Stone Cold Steve Austin again. Let's see what else is on. Two and a half men. Guys, I don't care if you hear this. I'm turning this up. I love two and a half men. So funny. Bear magnet. 
Mm. It's very hurtful, Uncle Charlie. It's very hurtful, Uncle Charlie. <laughs> What's it? What's Charlie's name? Charlie's Charlie Sheen, I think. Charlie Sheen, man, what a legend. He's the definition of a badass. Pulls anything he sees, basically. Man! Oh, and it's half eight. I can watch the whole episode. Hey, Jake's being a bit cheeky. We've had Stone Cold for three games in a row now. What? Hey, what is he doing up so much? I told him to go to bed. How many times did I tell you to go to bed? What? I almost count. I learned on a date. Did you get any? Go on, lad. I swear I don't know what he's talking about. The best card I've had out of this uh, Team PCC so far is an ultra rare Bray Wyatt, which I was kind of happy about, I guess. I also got an ultra rare toughness, which is a Good evening, good evening, good evening. If you've seen that video, so funny. Really? What did you tell him? I said it's probably because he's disgusting. Let me turn it down a bit. And the main reason why I want um, for my laptop to be working again is because then we can actually do Xbox One gameplay again. Um, my good friend Shockknife, also in the team, also known as Shock Does Gaming. He does awesome re uh, reactions content, which I'm not not a huge fan of, but it'll do. He's saying that Supercast should be coming back soon, which I hope he is right by saying that. Because obviously, who doesn't love a bit of Supercard? You can't say, say you don't really, can, can you? So hopefully that comes back very soon. And yeah, um... Hopefully, me, me and Shot Life will be do, doing some Xbox One gameplay. Um, we are thinking about doing a campaign on Dungeon Siege 3. I don't know if you guys really ever heard of Dungeon Siege. Uh, I'd never heard of it until Shot Life told me about it. And it's not a bad game, you know. It's got a very interesting, let's just say, story. Which shouldn't be bad. Let's, oh, let's do that. Um, I'll probably just end up. I might not do Dungeon Siege. I'm thinking about doing a Battlefield Hardline um, montage, which I could actually upload onto my channel um, off of the Xbox One Upload Studio. Not Devo Studios, Upload Studio. Uh, let's see what time we're on. That's fine. Uh, yeah, so this episode is going to be very long. I didn't mean to use Bray. I'll take it, though, because it's going to be a win. I uh, meant to use Epic Shawnee Michaels. Speaking of uh, Epic Shawnee, Shawnee Michaels, let, let's let use Epic Johnny Cena. Oh, let's not, because it's a Divas match. And guys, I have to go at 9 o'clock for two reasons. One, because I'm off out. One, because I'm off out tonight. Oh, Bachelor se segue. I'll just quickly... One, because I'm off out too, because I've got lots of homework to do. So I've got two pieces. One, I can't actually do, because it requires my uh, laptop, which I do not have. 
Well, I do, but it's broken, so I don't see the point. So, yeah, guys, I'll be right back with my charger. Alright, guys, I'm back with um, part two, I guess, of this episode. And, yeah, let's pick up right where we left off. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, I was talking about be going out tonight. Uh, so, yeah, this episode is going to finish in about 15 minutes. Oh, yeah, also, guys, we need to talk about this one. Oh, my God. How did I forget? Monday Night Raw. We're not even going to talk about TLC. That that was just a bore. Uh, Monday Night Raw, what just happened? What just happened? Um, you know, I'll I'll run you down through through the whole show. Uh, for spoilers, if you haven't watched it yet, pause the video now and go over to YouTube and then come back. But yeah, um, well, you're probably on YouTube watching this video right now, so it'll make a difference. Just you know, go onto the WWE channel. But yeah. Um, or if you have it recorded on your DVR, let's just say, then yeah, watch it on there. But yeah, um, what happened? Well, basically, there was there was a match between Bo Dallas and who was I, th I swear it was our truth. It might not have been, but yeah, it was Bo Dallas and I think our truth. I'm just gonna say our truth because I thought it was. Um, basically what happened was, they were in a match and you saw a limousine pull up on the Titan Tron. Now obviously Stephanie is there, and prior to this, I think why this happened was because at the TLC pay-per-view, I didn't watch it, and here's a pretty disgusting fact, right? This is the first TLC, that first TLC... This is the first pay-per-view I haven't watched live on pay-per-view since Fastlane this year. I watched WrestleMania, Money in the Bank, Payback, Battleground, SummerSlam, Night of Champions, Hell in a Cell, but I didn't watch TLC because the matches were boring. And I'd say the best thing about it was the pre-show. Sasha Banks versus Becky Lynch. That was fantastic. The pop Sasha Banks got was was amazing. And anyway, because obviously it was in Boston, Massachusetts, where she's from, the hometown girl. But yeah, um, basically the main event was Roman Reigns versus Sheamus. Sheamus returned, but then Triple H came out and... Roman Reigns basically beat the crap out of him. And then, Monday Night Raw, you see a limousine pull up whilst Birdhouse and R-Truth are in a match. And um, basically, um, Stephanie's there, smiling. And yeah, it's her daddy, Vincent Kennedy McMahon. And uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to do the best imperson impersonation here. You're fired. That third part, let me try again. You're fired. That was better. But yeah, um, he came back and a couple of sec seconds later, he came out in the arena. The crowd went mad. Uh, um, let me just pause here. I'm not going to do the plus 10 because every time I have tried, I have failed. So we're going to try the plus 6 here. But yeah, Vincent Kennedy McMahon came out, uh, the chairman of the board, and then he goes, oh no, 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 Stephanie came out first, and then Roman Reigns came out, this was in the ring by the way, and Roman Reigns, Stephanie's going, you're a disgrace, and then Roman Reigns goes, no, you're a disgrace, in fact, your husband's a disgrace, in fact, your whole family's a, di a disgrace, oh, shots fired. And yeah, uh, Steph is pissed, and then she she slaps him, yeah, 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 you know, that billion dollar hand, 
She does the billion dollar slap about 20 times to Roman Reigns. And uh, yeah, Roman Reigns is now a pissed off little boy. Uh, so then, Stephanie says, the only reason why I didn't fire you because Triple H didn't want me to, but somebody who might gladly do it, do it is my father, is my dad, the chairman of the board, Vincent Kennedy, man. So yeah, and then he comes out, and in the middle of the Bo Dallas, let me turn this down. In the middle of the Bo Dallas and our truth match, um, Kennedy. I'll say Vince. Vince basically says, right, stop the damn match. Get the hell out of my bloody ring. So obviously they do what the hell it is. And then later on in the night, uh, Reigns and Vince have a, you know, they talk. And then Vince, and Vince McMahon says, right, Sheamus comes comes out saying, Hey, I'll put my title on the line. Um, and then Vince, Vin, Vince goes, Right, Roman Reigns, if you lose to Sheamus t tonight, you're fired! Fired! I don't think he goes, Fired! He goes, Fired! So, yeah, um, he would have been fired, and obviously that was not going to happen. So he kind of knew Reigns was going to win the championship. Um, at first, in the match, when the League of Nations came out, which I think is a load of crap, when the League of Nations came out, um, I thought it was going to be a DQ, so I thought Sheamus would return, but Reigns would win. Obviously, they didn't do, do that. They all know the only reason why it didn't happen was because... Um, Vince, Vince uh, distracted the referee, which allowed uh, Sheamus to, well, Re Reigns took control, I guess. Then Rusev gave him a jumping sidekick, which nearly knocked him out. And then, yeah. Um, just seeing if my laptop would work, as you can see. No sounds at all. But yeah, um, that happened. And then Reigns was bloody, man. Reigns was busted up. And obviously, I know the blood's fake, but still, it was pretty good to see. And then, yeah, um, ooh, look at that. Deb Stone called and brought po stat points. Damn. That is good, man. So, yeah, it's 10 minutes left of the video. How long have we done? This video is probably going to be one of the longest I've ever done. Le Lesnar is about to spin sexual chocolate. Have I won every game so far? I think I have. Hopefully you guys are grinding along with me, although you probably won't be. Because this episode will probably be out... Tomorrow morning at about 11 o'clock. So, yeah. Um, I'm to buy two lovely ladies outside Charlie's house. Huh. Bit of a reference to the dumb blonde there. Anyway, just 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 a couple more games, guys. Before we do this, actually, let's quickly. Have a look at the breakdown. I've st Ooh, Tom's been playing, which is good. Uh, and yeah. I've, I've stormed into third place. Hammer does 
Man, Hamid has may has been awesome. None of the top five of none of the bottom five have actually played since then. Damn, Alan's getting in there. What, what am I going to tell her? <laughs> I was so <laughs> Wow, that's be off. <laughs> so guys, the final game of the episode. Because I do need to get ready also. Right, because it's lagging a bit, um, basically to stop any lag, uh, you basically click the home screen in the top right corner. And there you go, just like that, the lag is gone. Oh, I lost. Crap. Right, let's put some energies on. We've gained over 10, which is good by us. It's fine by me anyway. There we go.
Wow. Come on, John Cena. Attitude just went do 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 do. We've lost that one. Right, we still won the two one. Which gives us a plus five, and you guys, that's going to be the end of the extended episode 62 of Team PCC Grind. I feel like I should do a series on this. <laughs> wow, he just jumped out the window. Um, and anyway guys, we finish on Bobby Heenan. Wow. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, please do like and subscribe for more Supercar content. And yeah, maybe I'll start a series on this. Anyway, I will see you in the next video.